Foucault pendulum swings freely across the center of the circle. Very gradually, it appears to change the direction of its swing. In fact, the pendulum constantly swings in the same direction. It is the Earth which rotates beneath it. This exhibit graphically demonstrates the rotation of the Earth and the passage of time. At this moment in St. Louis, it is afternoon. England has already rotated into late evening. And in Hong Kong, the sun has already risen on tomorrow. In the next 24 hours, the Earth will complete one rotation, east to west, and the hour of 5 p.m. will literally travel across the face of the Earth and return here to St. Louis. The planetarium was built for St. Louis by McDonald. It's a new line for them. They usually build space capsules and airplanes. This one they've built for the Royal Air Force. That's why I'm in Missouri, converting onto the Phantom. Just sitting there with its wings folded and that great droopy nose, it's not the most beautiful airplane you ever saw, but 20 miles up at twice the speed of sound, it comes into its own. It's powerful and complex. We're learning about it, how to fly it, fight it, and maintain it. They call us the RAF support group. Half the F4M is built in UK. Assembly takes place here on Lambert Field. Engines, incidentally, by Rolls-Royce. Who else? Number one air navigation school, Stradisol, Suffolk. This is where we train the new generation of navigators. The men who are destined for the high, fast roll. The sort of men who will find themselves in the back seat of a Phantom or a VC-10 flight deck. And we've got the aeroplane to do the job. The Domini. Five of us on board. Two up front and me in the back with two trainee navigators. Stand by, crash crew. We've another dominie starting up. We're the ones who get all the fresh air. The ground crew. C-10 is just about the most distinctive shape in the air. This RAF version is rather special. 
for beneath that graceful exterior is tremendous power. Uprated engines and a strengthened fuselage. So when it's not ferrying service personnel and their families around the world, it can take a really big load, a military load. I'm an unaccompanied, which is what the RAF calls us when we go alone, for holidays, etc. I don't really need to be shown. I've flown lots of times. Well, once anyway. It's not very difficult, really. Midnight. This is Mike Lane swinging your way through the witching hour. And just to prove the night's still young, it's... The object of the exercise is for medium bombers to attempt to strike on Cyprus. The island's defences will be beefed up with UK-based lightning interceptors and RAF regiment ground defence elements. Lynham Wiltshire. Our ground defence force are in planing now. The Centaur attacking force is made up of Canberra bombers operating from bases in Turkey. The UK-based Lightnings will fly direct from England to Cyprus, refuelling in flight. Each aircraft will carry its normal weapon load of two air-to-air -air missiles.
Well, folks, it's around 11 p.m. Mississippi time. Listen to St. Louis' king of the banjo, Joe Shermer. <laughs> there's a branch of the service that gets almost as much fresh air as us, the police. Thank you, Corporal, for looking after my aeroplane so nicely. I shall be needing it later, taking a little trip to Malta. We're not usually allowed in the front, but the captain said I could come because his little girl came to my birthday party in Hong Kong. He doesn't want any.
Center off. We have a marine craft movement for you. One high-speed launch, offshore Limassol area. Thank you, Secretary. What's the trouble? One moment. I understand it's rescuing a civilian. Any other details? It's a Cypriot boy. He's on an inflatable mattress. I see. Tell them to hurry it up. We've got an exercise to get on with. Roger. And if it's the same kit as last time, tell him not to do it again. Roger, will do. Nicosia Center, this is Ascot Jet 2479. Flight level 330. En route, GAN, Cyprus. Estimate Aquatiri 20 past the hour. Center off, your lightnings are tanking 200 miles out. Thank you, Aquatiri. Foxtrot 75, Luca Tower. Understand you are on finals over Valletta Harbour. You are clear for straight in approach. 75, caution, crosswind right to left, 10 knots.
This is your captain speaking. We are approaching the English coast and commencing our descent. Local weather, I'm afraid, can only be described as very British for the time of year. Heavy rain. It's a dream. Hong Kong, the sun has already risen on tomorrow. In the next 24 hours, the Earth will complete one rotation, east to west, and the hour of 5 p.m. will literally travel across the face of the Earth and return here to St. Louis. <laughs> 